Hiya, this is Water Lily 6519 again, and I'm back with another trying new makeup video. And today I am focusing mainly on one new product, but it's actually two new products that I want to try. But the one that I'm most excited to try is this the Extra Volume Curl Metal Maxi Cara from Neodendromology. This is not sponsored, it's not an affiliate, and it's nothing I bought in or got in PR. Um, this is something I bought myself, but it's a fairly viral mascara, looks like this, um, and it is very viral both for its unique look because the wand is bristleless and it's also viral because this is supposed to give your lashes an extreme length. So we'll see if that happens. And the other new makeup product I want to try for this video is this MAC Cherry Lip Liner. Also not PR or sponsored or an affiliate. This is all makeup that I've bought myself. But it will be a red lip look, meaning it will be a fairly neutral eye look. And then we'll do the mascara and the lip liner at the end. So if that was all, I think we can get started into this look. Okay, so I just did the eyeshadow of one eye off camera because I wasn't quite sure what kind of eyeshadow look I wanted to go for, but I went for this slightly smoky rounded eye. So grabbing my mirror, which is this Bare Minerals highlighter, also uh, self-bought, I am going to take H&M Beauty Butter Toffee eyeshadow, which is this very, very, very pretty warm brown. And with a little blending brush, I'm just going to very quickly tuck this in my outer corner and blend with slightly circular motions and blending into the crease and into the inner corner. Doing soft circular motions ensures that we can blend the eyeshadow without too much happening, if that makes sense. Also, I'm going to pull it inwards towards the lid a bit, and also very, very lightly and carefully under the lower lash line. Just a quick little smoke under my eye. Try match, trying and match it because my left eye naturally points downwards a bit more than the right one, um, I think. So just very quickly under the eyes, and that looks good. So after that, I'm going to take a, another smaller, yet fluffy brush and pick up the lightest shade in this NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Edit uh, Warm Neutrals palette. And with this, I'm just going to tap off any excess and use this to blend out above the butter toffee color that I just applied, just to really blend it and soften. I hope you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm so bad at this because I need glasses to see properly, so I can't really... Um, I'm very bad at filming at the same time as I try to see what I'm doing with the makeup. But I got it 
right and next i'm also going to take this makeup revolution palette it's, it's the forever dynamic mesmerized palette and i'm just going to take this lightest shade right here and with the same brush just go in lightly tap off any major excess and just apply it to my lid like so so very very neutral simple matte eye and the main focus is not the eyeshadow but rather the mascara and the lips so with that done i'm also going to take some of the lightest shade tap off any excess and blend out even softer over the eye and a bit below as well in order to kind of even it up so with that out of the way i am going to pause to just do some final finaglings off camera and then i'll be right back to try the mascara and the finaglings are done so now it's time to see if this fairly viral mascara does what it says it's supposed to do so I'm just going to set that down and let's see what happens if I'm close enough to the camera for you to be able to see anything so I'm going to start with my right eye and then hopefully you can see what I'm doing I must say it is working like a charm and it feels a bit odd because I'm used to um, the bristles of a regular mascara wand and this just feels smooth it feels like I'm applying nothing but if you can if you can see in the video it is actually lengthening let's see how it does on my lower lashes because my lower lashes tend to not be as visible until i apply the mascara anyone else just have an ugly mascara face or is it just me I'm also rotating the wand in order to get the product on there. Can you not see my lower lashes? I hope you can. I'm back to the upper lashes because I didn't quite rotate the wand. And because it's so thin and there are no bristles, you can get really close to the root. So it's a very nice formula, it doesn't stick together, it's not clumpy yet, and my eyelashes are definitely getting longer. I can definitely see them getting longer and longer. This is cool. And gives a lovely long result now I guess you can also layer but um, actually that's a good a good thing um, let me just try on the other eye as well and we'll come back to the right eye and try layering so I just rotate the wand whilst Applying the mascara Oh, I think I've done something wrong. I got I got it far too close to my eyelid. That was my fault. That was not the mascara's fault. Um so I guess you want to be careful of that.
Oh my gosh, I got it on my head. I'm clumsy today, so. But you can definitely see that it's a lash lengthening formula. I'm definitely seeing some change. So I'm just going to finesse this, the rest of this off camera, and I'll be right back to see if it also uh, built and you'll see if it is built if the lash from lash actually can build I'm babbling uh, BRB and sure enough this is a very buildable formula that gives some proper length um, it also keeps my lashes up fairly well and this is without using an eyelash curler I'm actually going to slightly bring you in closer. My, my mascara actually looks good. It looks uplifted. Not as much on this side, but then again, lashes are more difficult on this eye. So I'm just going to set you back down. I also very quickly just popped on some nude eyeliner in my waterline and the nude eyeliner I used is Isadora Inliner Kayal in 49 Nude I'm so sorry about the lighting um, switching all over the place oh, sorry it doesn't make yeah I have uh, some plastic bag it's next to me so very sorry about that. Um, next, and maybe I should just very, very quickly do this first. Just going to take a very tiny bit of the Bare Minerals highlighter on my cheekbones. Something happened with it on this side, so I'm just going to very quickly again try and fix that. So sorry. And I'm back again. So I know it looks way too harsh, but I swear this is blended. This is just the natural redness in my skin because I'm not wearing any foundation or concealer. So next step and final step is the Red MAC Lip Liner. I'm sure most people who watch makeup videos are familiar with MAC. It is a brilliant um, makeup company and they make excellent makeup products. So I'm just going to apply this on my lips. This is a gorgeous red shade. Now these lip liners can be a bit stiff and no, they're not the creamiest, but also they're very, very quick and easy to work with, you see? This is a gorgeous lip liner. Mm. 
I know I look crazy right now. Um, And sure enough, gorgeous red pelt. So that's the lip liner. And I was thinking of going one of two options. Um, just apply the lip liner and have a matte red lip. Or I can go in with a lipstick over top. And this is, oops, uh, this is by Urban Decay. It's their Vice metalized lipstick in singe which is a gorgeous red met super metallic and glittery so i'm just going to quickly pop this over top just to give the lip liner some depth and A gorgeous metallic finish like so and with that this make a video of course I can't edit to save my own life but this is the final makeup look Very classic kind of slightly pin-up style if I'd added a cat wing eyeliner on this this would really come together oops lipstick on my teeth but yeah the uh, mascara is the mascara is it worth the virality and hype I am inclined to say yes and I'm not a professional I am only I've only been a seven weeks intensively trained and authorized makeup artist for a year now. But is this worth the virality and the hype? I think it is because you can definitely build a formula and I am not currently using an eyelash curler and they have stayed quite curled. And I just think it looks really really nice with this and of course the MAC lip liner yes uh, MAC is a makeup product have makeup products that are really 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 good so I would definitely suggest that if you want something good and fa fairly affordable uh, in comparison to other more high-end brands it is a fairly high-end brand but it can be more affordable than a lot of products is this MAC lip or MAC and like one lip liner isn't all that expensive but if it's if MAC is still too expensive for you I would suggest looking at NYX and Makeup Revolution and Sleek and so on for drugstore makeup um, again now I'm just rambling <laughs> so I'm just going to call this video a success the mascara is definitely worth the viral uh, hype and the lip liner worked like a charm so uh, I hope people watch this video otherwise I Maybe shouldn't have done it. So, uh, as always, stay happy, stay safe, and always know that I'm sending a bit of love so you never have to feel alone. Bye, guys.